Hello there. Welcome to this short course on conquering COVID lockdown using lock strategy. The lock strategy has the following subcomponents inside it lock in, interlock, lock out, lock up, and lock away. Let's now first understand what lock-in strategy is all about. We would have come across the term vendor lock-in or even a term investor lock-in. What is meant by vendor lock-in? Some of you may be knowing it already. If a vendor is providing service, the vendor would get locked in for a specific time period based on certain terms and condition. The vendor cannot walk out of the contract until the expiry of that particular time period. From the viewpoint of a company, it is called as a vendor lock-in. This assures the perpetuity in service. This assures that the vendor would not be abruptly terminated from providing services. The next example that we just discussed is investor lock-in. Being an investor, I may be investing into various kinds of commodities. Some may have liquid form more than others. Let's say I would like to liquidate all my investments, but new to the nature of few commodities, the liquidity will not be quite possible at any given time. So until there is a viable time period available, the investor has to wait. In other words, the investor is locked in with his investment. If we were to apply the same concept, the lock-in here in my strategy implies that the employer has to be locking you in. Being an employee, your respective employer has to lock you in the payroll of the organization. What is the point in being employed when the salary is not being paid? What is the point in being employed when the employer says you can leave the organization whenever you want because of the lockdown situation? So the employer lock-in also implies that you are on the payroll and you are being given the salary that is quite acceptable for you with which you can maintain your way of living so how do we sustain that level the key lies in being a value adding employee being an employee that adds value to the organization let's say you had already been adding value to the organization what you need to do is you need to keep the same pace and same rhythm in adding value to the organization in fact i would like to quote the book written by mr seth gordon linchpin are you indispensable as that author would prescribe each employee should become the linchpin in every organization we need to become quite indispensable in nature otherwise we may get laid off otherwise we may be asked to look for some other job so the employer lock-in can be realized when we are absolutely valuable to the organization